Hello, I'm David Long, and you're watching my good friend, Mr. Tony of the Dead. Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and uh, I'm just going to show you, uh, by the title of this video you already know, but I'm going to show you my video games that I got probably in about the last two weeks, week and a half, something like that. So uh, I got I got a lot, and not until I did, I'm about to do this video did I realize I got so many games. I'm Italian, can you tell? I'll just show you, uh, first off, a couple computer games. I technically was given these to me. They were uh, my brother-in-law's, and he just said, you know, because he knows I collect games, he just gave them to me. Uh, no intentions of playing them. Maybe the other two of them might find I, I are mine that I found in the attic. But these two, I got NASCAR 2000. I'll never play that, but you know, whatever. Uh, Mall Tycoon. Uh, I'm not really into the, you know, those kind of games, like uh, Sin City kind of games or like. That kind of stuff. Uh, I didn't mind Roller Coaster Tycoon. That was kind of fun. But other than that, you know, I'm not really into them. But uh, I found these in the attic yesterday, and there I had never played them because I never had a computer that could run them. And I'm sure I do now. I mean, hopefully. But uh, I found a Quake 2, and again, this except for the little crack on the back of this, this thing looks brand new. Like everything's in it. It doesn't come with the big case that it used to. I don't even know if I had that. I don't even know. But uh, same thing with this. This had like a slipcover case to it. But uh, this is really cool. Uh, collector's Edition Doom. Uh, it's Doom. Ultimate Doom. Doom 2. And Final Doom. And then there's like a, a disc in here for uh, preview content for Doom 3. When Doom 3 was coming out. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I, I remember, yeah, I could not run these back then. So I figured I'd, I'd uh, you know try it out now maybe or or just keep it in my collection you know whatever comes first next up I have I got some uh, Super Nintendo games now everybody saw probably in that video I got the Retron 5 and uh, for some reason it wouldn't play um, well the one I don't think I can play on there I think you need the silent scope or the super scope yeah silent scope's a game but uh, it wouldn't play them on there I don't know I don't know why uh, I tried blowing in the cartridge I don't know but um, it wouldn't play. But the whole deal was I got these a, well, I'll show you. I got Miss Pac-Man, which works. I also found a bunch of these clear sleeves, or uh, I guess, yeah, sleeves. They're plastic sleeves for Super Nintendo. I found a couple of them in my in the attic. And uh, so Miss Pac-Man, that works. I use that on the Retron 5. And I know you're, People are probably thinking, like, well, why did you get, you know, another system if you had the Retron 5? This is uh, Super Mario World, but the cover's, like, really ripped to shit. The back's all right, but the, that's ripped to shit. I mean, maybe this just has to be cleaned a little bit to make them work. But that wouldn't work. I was kind of upset. This I already have a copy of, but I got another copy. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars. Um, so I'm going to be I'm gonna be checking these on, uh, you know not on the Retron 5. I'm going to be checking to make sure they work. So if they do work, if anybody's interested in buying Mario All-Stars or this one, Yoshi Safari off me, you know, send me a message. And uh, same thing with that Super Mario World, uh, you know. But the reason I got those is because I originally, somebody was selling them, I wanted the games, and I said, would you take $10 or something like that? And um, you know went from there and yeah, so I got the games and they were also selling a Super Nintendo and I've never seen this before a Super Nintendo mini and here it is. It's It's cute. It's very cute. It's very small. It's an official Super NES. I've never seen this before. I never knew there was a uh, the uh, next uh, generation of Nintendo like the second Nintendo NES. I never knew that until like not too long ago. And now I just discovered this. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, it's got like a little bit of paint up here, but that'll come right off. Um, I got this. There was two controllers with, that came with this, official controllers, those games. And I got them for a price that 
she probably didn't really want to pay. But um, the multi out, I got the multi out with it. She gave me an AC adapter, and for some reason it's the wrong one. It don't fit. And so I'm still waiting to hear back from her about the AC. She knows that she, you know, we talk. She said she has to look for it. She knows her kids were playing this a couple days ago, <coughs> so she knows it works. But in the meantime, I went to the video game store today actually got an AC adapter and uh, came home the AC adapter don't work it's definitely the AC adapter because I tried it then in the Retron 5 it don't work try it in another outlet it doesn't work so I and that's why I got another system and just in case the Retron doesn't read the cartridge for some reason I got another system just to be able to check and make sure and play them so I got that and now also I got another system it's downstairs but I ended up getting, remember the story I told you is all about, I got ripped off at the PlayStation 2. Um, you remember. Uh, I ended up getting a PlayStation 3. I got one of the early ones that are backwards compatible, so it can play PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games. So I ended up stocking, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I find them good prices, that's why. But I ended up getting a bunch of PlayStation 2 and 3 games, so I'll show you those right now. All right, the first one, I don't know if I showed this before in, in a yard sale or if I got, I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm not sure. But if I did, uh, I was playing this actually the other night, last night. I, I thought this was great. Uh, gun. I, I might have shown this before, but if I did, I apologize. I, I know the rest of them I didn't show you, but that game was, that game is awesome. And uh, I got this one, True Crime, Streets of L.A. Uh... For the most part, I, I, I bought them off a couple different people and they all work. I tried them, uh, cleaned them up, you know, and they work good. Uh, this one, uh, Burnout Revenge. I haven't played that Burnout yet. I mean, I, I play, haven't tried, like, I've tested it. Burnout Revenge. Um, and this one I did play, Burnout 3 Takedown. This is so much fun. This game is a blast. I mean, I'm horrible at driving games. So being able that you actually are supposed to not like knock into somebody works for me. Uh, this one it doesn't have the case for it, but I got it cheap, and I figured maybe I'll find the case or I mean uh, the manual. That's what I'm, I doesn't have a manual, but uh, Air Force Delta Strike. Yep, looks kind of looks like Top Gun on the back, but not. Uh, this one, uh, Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends. I always was a fan of the Dynasty Warrior games. Um, I just like the fact that you can fight, you know, dozens of people on on the screen at the same time, and the system, you know, keeps up with it. You know, I was always it was so always awesome. Uh, this game, I love the fuck out of. I, I it's such a good game. Uh, destroy all humans. If you haven't played this game, the first or the second one, this is these are a blast. I think this one takes place in the 50s, and the next one's in the 60s, or this is the 60s, and the next one's the 70s. I don't remember. Um, but this is so much fun. The the alien is like very comical. This is such a fun game. I, I recommend both of these games. Um, and what else I got here? I have Burnout Dominator. Some of them are uh, greatest hits, some of them are black labels. I always try to get the black label, but if I can for, the, you know, if it's the right price, I'll get the greatest hits, it, you know, don't matter to me. Um, got this one, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The booklet is like, like the front page is ripped in half, but this is, I've said this before in past uh, videos, I think. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City is my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. Loved it. Love the soundtrack. Love the, um, you know, the the 80s. I, I love the cars you drive. I, it's just such a good game. Uh, this one, on the other hand, I haven't ever played this one. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. I believe that's like a, an expansion in a way, like to part three. Um, this, I never played. But I do like part three. I, I You know, my friends and I fell in love with it. When, you know, putting in the cheat codes and, and just being a bunch of assholes. Uh, so next up, a, a Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> uh, this was, you know, what really started for me. I never played the first two original ones. I know they're like looked down and it's way different, but 
this this is what really made me like a play the playstation and um i just they're just great games and they're not for kids <laughs> you know because you can have sex with hookers so the next one is goblin commander unleash the horde uh this uh, these games are, are okay it depends on what game is like uh uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2 I believe that's what this kind of game is uh, what you know it's the same type that game I like because it was you know Lord of the Rings and this maybe I like because it it's goblin it's goblin and stuff but like I don't it doesn't have the manual again if anybody like if I say I don't have the manual or something and somebody has it and they want to donate to me that's fine I, I would love that um, this one this was fun I played this uh, Pac-Man Fever I could see that it getting a little stale. I mean, I played one player, so it kind of sucks. You need definitely need more players with it. Uh, that was a fun game. It's kind of like a Mario Party. There goes the games. It's kind of like a Mario Party game, and uh, you know, so it's fun. It's definitely worth more if you have a party of people. Uh, this game was a lot of fun too. Time Splitters Future Perfect. I like the Time Splitter games. They're kind of like uh, Arena or uh, Tournament Ch Unreal Tournament champions or whatever that's called uh but that's pretty cool uh this one the sopranos road to respect 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 uh i never seen this the show i i may may have seen bits and pieces here and there but i i i like it i liked what i saw i just i never got into it um and this one i love this game i can't wait for the new one to come out in November um, at Star Wars Battlefront. I need to get part two because part two was awesome. I love part two even more. And I, I just can't wait to, to see the new one that comes out. Uh, I thought it only came out on PlayStation 4, but it, it comes out on like everything. So I can't wait to get that and like see the updated graphics in that. Oh, it's gonna be so sweet. Um, the last two that I have, um, I got today actually uh strike force bowling it was cheap i like bowling games i used to bowl a lot and i like bowling games 10 pin alley is a great playstation game probably one of my favorite bowling games of all time um and i don't have it oh well uh this one jack 10 combat racing i never played this before this looks so new it's not even funny uh i love i I love racing games. I know I said this before. I love racing games, but not your typical like NASCAR, unless it's like Burnout or you're smashing into stuff. I'm not really into other things. Or if it's like a like a Hot Wheels or um, um, mi Micro Machines kind of thing, like like where it's like you're in a car, but you're small and the environment's like you know this room. That I think that stuff is awesome. Um, but I got. That's the PlayStation 2. I just have two play, uh, two GameCube games I got. Uh, that's Cubics Robots for Everyone Showdown. I guess it's a robot fighting game. It wasn't much money. I figured I'd get it. Why not? Uh, and this one, I, I just thought, what the hell? Uh, I remember liking this game, and apparently it's it's not that it's expensive. It's or anything, but like uh, I didn't spend as much as I would online for it. And uh, that's a uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Paid nine bucks. I, I, I splurged on it. That sounds really bad. I didn't actually splurge like that. Onto the PlayStation 3, I got. Um, when I got my PlayStation 3, I got it at GameStop, and you were allowed to pick five games, ten dollars or under. And I, I thought that's awesome, you know. So I found some good things. Uh, I got Resident Evil 6, and this is the anthology one. It, it includes uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5. But this was previously used, and the guy said the codes are in there. I can't guarantee you they'll work, but if they do, they're yours. Well, Resident Evil 2 worked. It downloaded, which is awesome because that's my, one of my favorite all time. Well, that's probably my favorite one except for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Um, but also Part 4 downloaded, which is one that everybody loves. So that's great. And I've never played 6 before. I played 5, B5, never played 6. So I, and I have yet to play it. I have, I have to catch up on a lot of playing. 
Uh, so I got that. And this, uh, this couple games I bought recommended from uh, Metal Jesus Rocks. Uh, well, from the Metal Jesus. And um, this is one of them. It's the Bureau XCOM Declassified. I'm not into the XCOM games, but this is kind of this is a little different. It, but it's still kind of like you go here, you go here, fire at this thing, and then I'm gonna do it. It's it's different, you know. I I like it, but I am not 100% into it. It's kind of like how it looks like a Gears of War type of game, like you like that view. It's it's all right though. I mean, and it has a cool slip cover with it. So that's the bureau. Uh, this one because I used to I used to love. Um, Warhawk, I believe it was called back in the day, like for uh, PlayStation and that. So I got Starhawk, and I was playing this. This is fun, uh, a lot of fun. I really like that. I'm not gonna get into it, but that's Starhawk. And this one I used to really like a lot, uh, Singularity. I played this in the past. I don't believe I ever beat it, but it's like you have this thing on your arm, and you can like manipulate certain things in the environment to like through time like if something's all corroded and, and or you know you need to get across somewhere and this bridge is all broken this thing on your arm will like fix it and like reverse time on that bridge and it'll make it like it was brand new and so that you know i love time travel and all that kind of stuff i do it all the time and so singularity that that's right up my alley that was a good one this one back in the day uh i remember a friend of mine used to play it and but i never got it because it was never cheap at the time and then of course you know now years later it's it's cheap but uh shadows of the damned it looks like a very horror kind of game i haven't played it yet but uh, i'm looking forward to it actually look i used to want to play in, a, in the day back in the day this one i got uh, i bought a couple games off of a guy this was one of them was just in the in the in the deal and it was a good deal so it's fuck it, fuck it. Uh, MLB 11 the show I don't like sports games I I just don't like sports games that'll that's just gonna be there this game uh, I, I really like this one a lot uh, I had to get it and it's a heavenly sword I used to have it back in the day I had I go through this thing where I get systems and then I sell them and I get them again and I sell them and I get them again I'm an idiot but uh, Heavenly Sword, this is this is a really, really great game. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but it's really great. Uh, this one, uh, Grand Theft Auto V. I can't say anything else about it. It's a lot of fun. I've been, I played it uh, so far. I went online, and I thought you could just walk around. And here I had to like do missions with people, and I felt like a dick because I just jumped right off after. I'm like, oh, thanks, bye. Um, but yeah, it, it graphics look great on it got this super cheap it came with a deal i'm not even going to tell you the deal you'll shit if i tell you and i don't want you to poop your pants in your you know where you are but um also got this i believe i might have shown this i don't know i think i did god of war collection i got that i won't i won't get into it uh i got this one this was recommended by one of the employees there at gamestop uh I don't remember what he said about it. <laughs> El Shaday Ascension of the Metatron. I just remember saying it was like kind of like religious, but like not like, like just kind of mythical, like angels and stuff or not, like that or whatever. I don't know. But I don't know. I, I have to try that out one day. I'm still trying to get to all of them. I play a little of each here and there. Uh, this one, Dead Space 3 Limited Edition. Played the first two, never played the third one. It's definitely not a game kind of games that I have to that I would like to play in the dark uh, because Tony is a pussy. Next is Black Sight Area 51. Uh, I played this a long time ago. This is this was you know really 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 cheap, and I'm sure it's I don't know. I like that those kind of games. It's aliens and stuff. Um, these last two I got today. I don't know if this makes it rare more or, or you know rarer or or worth more or whatever but this is motor storm for the playstation 3 and it's this is not for resale or interdit a la revente <laughs> but uh you know I, this is the kind of racing games i do like like if it's going to be racing, it's got to have like extreme backgrounds and like I, the other motor storm that i like i like pacific rim 
I think it was Pacific Rim was good. And then there's also Apocalypse I want to get, which you're playing in like a Mad Max looking kind of thing where everything is destroyed. That was awesome, but Motorstorm was a lot of fun. And last I got this, um, I didn't get it at Game Crazy. Wow, that's a, that's a shout back to the past. Uh, GameStop. I don't know if anybody remembers Game Crazy. I used to go to a Game Crazy all the time. I was friends with everybody. But uh, I got this at the video game store, and uh, it was cheaper than at GameStop, so I picked it up. And that's Brutal Legend. This game is a, a good like hack and slash game with a great soundtrack, and uh, the the world is just amazing. Like it, it's a, it's a, like a heavy metal world. It, it, they'll Fucking everything in it looks like it like jumped off of like an old 80s album cover. It's 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 so much fun and like I said, the soundtrack is great and it's voiced by Jack Black. If you can stand it for that long, I like Jack Black, but sometimes I'm just that's enough. I, I'm done with Jack Black for right now. But uh, you know, this game was a lot of fun back in the day. Uh, I never beat it, and I honestly don't remember getting rid of it, <laughs> but. I have it again, and uh, it, it's there. It's in very good condition, excellent condition. So that's it. That's everything I got for probably in the last week and a half, two weeks. Um, and I actually am telling you right now, I have more stuff coming in the mail. So uh, maybe in another two weeks, I'll make another update if everybody's interested. If anybody's interested. So that's it. Um, Thanks everybody for watching. Also, if you have an AC adapter for a, the back of a Super Nintendo that you'd like to donate to me, just in case I don't get one in time, uh, I'd really appreciate it. I'll give you a shout out or something. But uh, that's it everybody. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm not gonna do the thumb. Subscribe to the thing down there or over there. Subscribe to my channel and spread the word of Mr. Tony of the Dead. Thanks everybody for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, I think that went swimmingly. <laughs>